Welcome back to another how-to series by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer that handles products such as Apex One, Apex Central, Control Manager Office Scan, and a bunch of other stuff that doesn't need to be listed. So today we're going to go through the registration of the Apex One to the Apex Central. Um, you can see here uh, in the last video series, if you haven't watched it, we went ahead and went through the install of Apex One, Apex Central, and that's where we left off. So you can see I have a couple of agents on here already, and Apex Central has no data because nothing's registered to it. So when you're going to register something or you want to see what's registered, you'd go to Administration, Manage Servers, Server Registration, and this is the listing of all the products you would register to it. Now we have two different ways to register a product. Uh, some of them have what we call the MCP agent, which is a bi-directional communication agent that installs on the agent or the server itself like the apex one others we have a different uh different way of communicating with it so you'd have to add that product manually today we're just going to go over apex one um all the other products are uh standardized and uh there, there's a lot of kb articles and guides going over how to register things like deep security and smart protection network uh or smart protection servers so we can go through that at a later time or just reference the kb articles so to register Apex One, you would just go to Administration, Settings, and then Apex Central. And this screen pops up, and this is where you'd put all the, the settings for your Apex Central in. So this is what it will display on this page as, and what you'd be able to search it as um, when, you, when you're looking for different logs and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and use the FQDM we have set for our Apex Central. And then you would set the HTTPS port that you have set for your IIS on Apex Central, which defaults to 443. If you changed it, go ahead and change it now. Uh, this is the Apex Central certificate. This is an optional certificate to alleviate any man in the middle attacks issuing commands to the Apex One from the Apex Central or vice versa. So best practice is to enable it, even though it is optional. I've already copied over the Apex Central certificate, and you could find that in this location, your install for the Apex Central, uh, it says Control Manager here, but that's likely pending change. Um, and you just go to the Certificate, CA, and this is the Cert. So we've copied it over onto the Apex One already. All right, so we got our Apex Central certificate all lined up in there. Um, if you have IIS, a web server authentication, or you've disabled anonymous, uh, log on onto your Apex Central, you would enter the username and password that you'd like to authenticate against that IIS with. Um, if you have the proxy in your environment, a proxy, um, you can go ahead and enter that information here. And this two-way communication port forwarding is just in case your Apex Central is behind uh, a NATed firewall or NATed gateway. Uh, you could enter that information and enable the, the two-way communications between the agent and Apex Central. So we'll go ahead and test the connection. Should go through fairly quickly on the test and then we'll be able to register. All right, in Chrome, you'll have this little box that says you successfully connected. Uh, other browsers have different uh, pop-ups and whatnot. So uh, nonetheless, it'll say successfully tested the connection. And then once that's done, you click register, wait for it to go through. And that's pretty much it. You're, you're, it'll go through the connection and we're registered. And then you can go back to your Apex Central, refresh the page uh, to see what servers are there. And we should see our Apex One instance here. And as it goes through and synchronizes, you'll be able to see more information, um, you know, once it uploads all the information on the pattern status and all, all of the things that go with Apex One and Apex Central. And that's it for the registration. Have a nice day.